Hey, it's Steve Thomas, and I am a pastor, a teacher, and an artist, and I love using illustrations and animations to teach the Bible and theology. And uh, every once in a while, I get an opportunity to get hired by somebody to do an animation. And uh, recently, I had a client, who, a professor, who wanted me to do an animated educational film for her. And uh, the problem with animation is that it's super expensive because it takes a ton of time to do like real full animation. So I didn't have a huge amount of time. She didn't have a huge budget. And so, uh, but I didn't want it to make it just like still picture to still picture. And so I thought, how can I um, make this film visually interesting and look like it's animated without actually doing a lot of animation? So I had this great idea. So one of my favorite apps on the iPad is Procreate. And you can draw on Procreate and then whatever you draw, you can export it as a video and then watch as each stroke unfolds. And it's, it's really captivating. And so I thought, well, what if I created the backgrounds like that while the voiceover was happening? And so um, then I can bring that in to Toon Boom Harmony and do some limited animation with it like that. So what I'm going to show you in this video is a step by step on how to do that, how to how to uh, start in Procreate on your iPad, then export it to Dropbox, from Dropbox import uh, images, movies, and Photoshop documents into Toon Boom Harmony. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Procreate and um, I'm going to go ahead and open the file that I have already created and uh, what you want to do is draw out your background and here's a, a really important tip you'll notice that I've created each little element of the background on a different layer and I went ahead and named the layer so if you just touch the layer once you can see over here it says rename uh, you touch that and you can uh, name it whatever you want and it's really important to think about these things in layers and also you want to draw the background in the sequence that you want it to emerge in the video uh, turn off the layers that you don't want to show as the final image and then you come up here you press the wrench tool which is actions and then you click on share which is already selected, and then you hit export video. I've uh, exported the video now, and this is what my drawing looked like from Procreate, but if I press play, you'll see that it wipes away and, and you, it unfolds as uh, a video, which, I mean, this is not animation, but it's interesting. And so as the voiceover is going in the film, uh, you can get this animated effect by simply drawing one picture and that's what's really cool about it and so what I'm going to show you how to do is how to import this into Harmony and then use it as different elements and then once you've exported the video you want to do share artwork and you want to choose a PSD which stands for Photoshop document and if you export the Photoshop document uh, what's cool about that is it will preserve all of the layers and so click save to Dropbox and so you want to make sure that you have a Dropbox file so I have my uh, folder over here and you can uh, rename the file if you need to I already have it named as garden and you hit save and it will um, export it it's already there for me so I'm just gonna hit cancel and then it will show up on your Dropbox file okay so here's what happens now we want I'm opened up Toon Boom Harmony and what we want to do is come to file import movie and then go to your Dropbox account and wherever you saved that file and here I'm going here and I find my garden and make sure it's the .mov file and now it takes a while for that to import so I'm just gonna hit cancel because I've already imported it and you'll see right here uh, this drawing is where it imported and what happens is it takes 
each uh, frame and uh, puts it in as a separate frame. Now what's cool about this is within each frame, if you want to, you can manipulate and extend each frame uh, and just play around with the timing. Uh, I don't want to do that here, but um, if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see that now it's it's just a movie within uh, Harmony, which is really awesome. Now you'll see how as this is unfolding, it gives this illusion of animation. But notice, and here's the other part that's really cool. Notice how the the characters disappear. That's because during my drawing in Procreate, I turned those layers off. And so in the video, they disappear. So you can also think about that as you want things to appear and disappear during the sequence of your drawing. And the reason I did that was because um, I wanted these characters, once they were fully drawn, I wanted them to have kind of um, a three frame cycle uh, so that they wobble just a little bit. So the way I got these characters in here was because I had exported the file from Procreate as a Photoshop document. So what you want to do is come up here to File, Import, Images, and then you want to browse to your file in um, Dropbox. And it's already selected here as Garden. And you'll the default setting is you want to create a single layer and you can name it uh, whatever you want to name it and then import as a Toon Boom bitmap drawing you definitely want it to be that actual size the alpha transparency is straight hit OK and then you definitely want it to be on separate separated layers hit OK and what you'll notice is that it will create a new drawing down here um, that has all of your layers from your Procreate file as separate frames, okay? And so what you'll wanna do is create a new drawing, which I've already done that. You create a new drawing for each of these frames. I have these characters up here. I'm gonna turn my Adam peg back on and I'm gonna turn my Eve peg back on and you see how they, they show up. And you see how in here, I've created three different versions of Adam and Eve in the drawing so that even though they're static images, they seem to have a little bit of movement. And uh, I put them on a peg and I can animate them in harmony and uh, move them around. And uh, so it's just really cool. So even though you have basically just three still images here, because I exported them from Procreate, I uh, have this illusion of animation. So, you know, that's kind of a cool little trick, and I hope it works for you.